Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about how to validate data in content of XML file information. Okay, means this is my XML. In this XML, I need to validate this XML file. This validating for data what content it is presented inside the xml file that information we need to verify how to verify this xml data using our karate framework for this we require for settings and test case is required not for variables because we are verifying the file inside the location where it exactly is presented and here we are going to take in this file and copy pasting and pc6 verify underscore xml here i'm just deleting remaining files it's not required okay now our variable is not required Yeah, and here the sessions on our also is not required and here the test case name is xml validate is my test case and we can able to specify here the libs we need to specify libs is like xml file ver verification for first the lib we required for xml and the operating system operating system is basically to reading for the file where it is located into our location for that we require for operating system this is basically inbuilt of robotic framework not required for installing anything and collections you know already and three libraries i'm going to importing here just imported and then we need to reading file purpose parse xml is the one to pass the object here means which is the location we provided right that location values it will read for information and we can able to see here now if i specifying this what will happen this object is basically having this parse xml what are the what is the xml it is presented that xml file it will pass and it will present it into this object place and if most over it will show that the value pass that particular folder value it is presented into this variable okay and second case is like after parsing that value we need to verify whether our test a uh, particular object we need to read means the file of now inside the file the first place we need to read it correct for that we need to use this particular line and checking this one it is basically the object is the file object the entire file object we specified that location where the file it is presented xml file right this file this entire file it is having into in this object this object is required get element text is basically to if you mouse over in the get text element it is basically it will retrieve that all text element possible white space normalization the element whose text written in specified user source and x path means xpath means this is the one how we are going to writing for xpath for ui automation time right the same format we need to specify xml path at dot double forward slash test it is basically indication for this one the root directory up to here it will provide for dot double forward slash this one it will provide for exact location of root and then we are specifying for sub this one 
and inside that there is a name value we are going to get it and what exactly get element text is this provided means if you are specifying the tag this one name tag inside the text what exactly the value is presented that information it will reads and we can able to validate for our should be equal we can able to use and we can able to validate for our thing just here we can able to specify here and save it and take the terminal and here is is 6 underscore verify underscore xml and we can able to verify now my verification is successful and come down again this is the one format of verifying the test and there another verification approach second approach it is presented that is called information we can able to get it from variable itself means now we are using for text here right and checking for now this one come down paste it now remove the text now what will happen it will get for element you will get for element means up to here that name place only it will get it but it will not get for the text okay and this text we can able to verify and now I'm taking this one and specifying the next enter and here and here I'm going to specifying that inside the text and what will happen up to here we are verifying that variable up to tag place but we are not getting for text and the previous we are directly getting for the text for get element text and get element get element only we are getting up to element we are getting and we are not extracting this value now we are extracting for text and if you choose if you see now terminal place if you enter it will show for parts only the same both are same but what is the different means first one is basically directly getting for the text second one is after extracting the element we are going to get for value and our third third for possibility thing is like to get the single line means we are not extracting directly and we are going to getting for information like a single value we are going to specify and you can able to see single value how means element text should be and you need to element text should be means this element <coughs> inside what exactly we are taking that value right that value and we need to specify for source of the file then we need to convert number of string number to string and there what value we need to specify this is a one convert number of string means number to string means there is a name of the file value inside the file value it is presented at that value and also we can able to get it for dot what tab we need to specify x path we need to specify and then you can save and go to terminal and we can able to save pass and also we can able to count for this entire file information and you can able to see the count also we can able to do it there is a, a method for get element count what element you want to count that particular element also we can able to use and you can able to specify this count also and this will count for text and test is basically how many tests are presented that count it will display into a console and you can able to run and see the count it will show the validation six count validation is presented six test tags are presented okay and another format of thing is we can able to verify for attributes can able to verify for attributes 
what attribute means the attribute which is presented into the inside of XML file. Now here is attribute is presented, the value is presented. The based upon the attribute also we can able to verify. For that we can able to choose for element attribute should be there is a method element attribute should be is presented that is required for attribute attribute value and xpath for the attribute you can able to copy and see here now run and see now it is specified everything is correct and another one is child elements child elements means the name uh, command line input output this value is also we can able to verify for that should not be because we are getting for entire xpath uh, entire child values and we are going to uh, that particular value should not be null uh, we are going to verify the method And another format we can able to say like first name or second name and third name and what all the names are presented inside that XML right name command line and input output values for that we can able to use it this thing and one value I'm going to showcase in here now this is the name what will happen it will get for the get element text and the child okay in, in this child what will happen the, up to here the child objects are presented inside that i'm going to take for one value that is dollar name and that dollar name we are going to verify in the text of that and also we can able to do it for command line the value we can able to verify input one output one like that this all the values also we can able to verify whether it will work or not we'll see now yes it is working as expected it is working nothing issue for that now this is the way we can able to verify xml file validation the content of xml file using our robotic framework that's all about this video i hope you enjoyed if you like this video, please like me please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues Thank you.